Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis. And like the title says today, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Makeup by Mario foundation. I have the shade 24N. Um, I'm gonna be doing shade matching, transfer tests, oil tests, all of that good stuff. So if you wanna know the tea about it, then just keep watching. Now I know some of you might have found me through hair. Don't be disturbed though, because I do talk about makeup here occasionally. I used to talk about it a lot more. I am still gonna do makeup tutorials here and there and reviews, especially on like highly anticipated products. This is called the Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. It retails for $42, there's only one size. I bought two shades of it. It's a natural finish, liquid formula, hydrating, long wearing, and medium coverage, okay? So we're gonna test all of that. So I did try the shade matching here on the site. So let me just give you a little tidbit about that. I initially tried to shade match myself with my favorite foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewing and Smooth, and they do have that foundation on there as an option, but when I clicked on my shade, which is 360 Mocha, it said we don't have any matches for you. I don't know if it's like that just for that shade in the Maybelline, if it's like that for all the shades in the Maybelline, so I then went to my next favorite, which is the NARCS Complexion Products. I just picked any one because I wear New Caledonia in all of them, and it matched me to 25W. But then I also got 25N as well because it's a little bit lighter, and I figured, you know, it's the winter time. I'm probably a bit lighter. This is also a neutral undertone. That's why it's 24N, and the 25W is a warm undertone. So we see. And then to pump, we love a pump. So this is 25W. This is the one that Sephora shade matched me with. And then this is 24W, the second or the next shade lighter that I chose. The first thing I always like to look at is the shade range, okay? Ooh, baby, this is testing my math, because I gotta, okay, three, six, nine, 12, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 28, 29, 30 shades. How many shades we have for us brown girls? So we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So close to half are for like brown skin tones. Like, and when I say brown, like not just like Holly Berry brown. Like, I mean like brown. This is 25W. Oh, that's a pretty decent match, Mar. Okay, and then let's try 24N. Okay, so if you guys can see, 24N and 25W. This 24N, I think it is, is a little bit lighter. Let's wipe off the 25. When I just have the 24 on there by itself, it doesn't look like a horrible match. When I blend it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the 24N. 25W, I think would be more of like my summertime shade. Let's look at how they say to use. I was gonna go with my stippling brush, but I'm gonna try to find something that's similar to it, like Mario was saying. And I feel like this is the most similar that I have. This is from Azia Beauty. Um, I'll link it down below. It's a black owned brush company. Um, it's very, very nice. So I'm gonna just pump out one. And I don't even think this is a full pump. Now the first thing I like to test is coverage and I have been having some breakouts if you have not noticed. So I'm gonna try out the coverage and this is just like one little tap into the foundation. And I just like to test it out to see how well it covers my cheek hyperpigmentation because if I am really trying to cover anything, it would be that. So I've done half of my face with the foundation. I would say this color is a good shade match for me too. Um, not the double chin, girl. I do feel like it lives up to the medium coverage because I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but you can still see some of my hyperpigmentation a little bit here. Now let's see if I can build that up. I don't think I can build it up to a full. And it doesn't have a crazy scent. 
Like if you guys have ever tried the Chanel or the Dior foundations, they have a very floral fragrant scent. These don't smell like that. So this is what I have left on my hand, that little bit if you can see. So I'm gonna see if I can get the whole rest of my face done with that or do you need multiple pumps for it? I just pumped out a tiny bit more if you can see that. Um, just because I applied that little bit extra to see if I could like add more coverage, I want to make sure I'm even. But so far so good. Um, oh, am I seeing this correctly? Now that I picked up the bottle and I'm looking at it, in the bottle you see a sparkle. Let me, do I see it in the other one? No. Maybe it's just, I wonder why this one looks so sparkly. So 24N, like there is sparkle and it's not the outside of it. That's weird. That's weird. Not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, weird. Is anybody else talking in TikTok these days? Like, okay, so the next thing I like to test is transfer and oil. So first I am going to take a little square toilet tissue here straight out the bathroom. Okay, and I'm just gonna press it up against my cheek right here. So without any setting powder, we definitely see some transfer. Um, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I always do this with a translucent powder that gives off no color. So it doesn't interfere with the test because I wanna see like how much of a difference it makes to apply setting powder, okay? So I'm just gonna apply a little bit down here. I'm gonna take another square. I'm just gonna press it up against here. This is with setting powder and this is without. So a little bit less. So it, it kind of seems like no matter what, you're gonna transfer. And then the other thing I like to test is oil um, because for those of us who have very oily skin. So I'm just gonna go out here in like the back corner. And usually like when it sticks, same as like the paper, that means like there's like, it's holding onto something, it's gripping something. And as you can see, the paper is starting to get darker. Um, and that's like your oil that is coming off from here, okay? So just to the back corner here, cause I still have other makeup to put on baby, so I can't be putting it all up here, okay? <laughs> um, just a little setting powder back there. Take another sheet. And I don't, it's not even holding on. I'm gonna press in really good. Okay. So this is without setting powder. So you have some oil that's gonna be peeking through. This is with setting powder. There's no darkness here. There's no oil coming off of that. So. I'm not happy with my hair right now. I literally was just like, I'm about to put some braids in. I'm not about to put braids in. It's like way too soon. <laughs> um, but it's getting on my nerves. But anyways, this is our finished makeup look. Like I said, I used shade 24N. And as far as like how it played with everything else, I think it like did fairly nice. Like the rest of my face looks really good. And you still, it's very luminous. Okay, so if you're very much so like a matte, matte, matte all the way type of girl, maybe she's not for you. As far as like the shade range we talked about before, I feel like there's a good amount of shades. Almost half the shades are for brown girls. And I do feel like they have some really deep shades that are good for darker skin tones. And you also saw the oil and transfer test, which I feel like for the most part, it's pretty good. It does transfer more than like other foundations that I've used before. Um, but that doesn't really bother me that much. The one thing I really try to pay attention to, especially if it's a foundation I'm looking for to be long wearing, like this one says it is, is if I set it, how much oil is gonna shine through. And you guys saw there was virtually no oil once I put that translucent setting powder on. It is a true medium coverage because like we saw with my hyperpigmentation, you could still see a little bit of it. But once I put on like my bronzer, blush, all that, like you can't even really tell. <sighs> So overall, would I say you absolutely need this foundation? Fan of Makeup by Mario? Give it a try. You will like it. I would say I think this is very similar to the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It, it's giving me that vibe and feel from it. But the other thing that was weird to me was how the 25W has like virtually no sparkle in it. Like there's like none. It's not even like, oh, I see a little bit of it. Like I don't see any. 
But then in the 24N, I see all the sparkle in the bottle. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.